Haven's Tavern serves up delectable modern American cuisine using a farm to table, thoughtfully sourced menu. And Chef Matt Briggs joins us now in our Studio 41 kitchen to break down the process of fermentation. But in this case, fermentation is pickling. It can be. Yeah, it can be. Absolutely. If, uh, Ferment, pickling is a type of fermentation. Okay. It's just there's different ways you can do that, and then uh, lacto fermenting and pickling is one way to get go through uh, potential waste. Lacto fermenting. Lacto fermenting. Okay. Uh, what which is, is that? What we will be doing today. Okay. Uh, it is just uh, uh, you have typical yeast uh, ferments, so like beer, wine, spirits. Sure. But this is without the yeast. It's just using the natural sugars in whatever vegetable you have seem to be, and then uh, fermenting. Gotcha. And, uh, room temperature, natural good bacteria. Oh, the, yes, yes, the, the good bacteria. The goods. And I love that you guys. Have completely reinvented yourself because you've been around for a hot yes. second, so, yeah. what, 50 years? Yeah, yeah. it was a dive bar. Yeah, and now <laughs> this elevated farm yeah. table with this whole fermentation process. Very cool. Yeah, very cool, very interesting. Um, a great, great direction to go to. Um, you know, it's it's been a fun a fun ride so yeah. far, and it's just starting. Um, but yeah, we're trying to use different uh, different locally sourced vegetables, um, anything to kind of preserve the the time span that we can use them in. Okay. okay so cool. how do you get started pickling? So um, basically, this lacto ferment is very simple. Four ingredients: uh, vegetables, water, salt, and of course time. Okay. okay. Uh, so first, we will do uh, we will weigh out um, weigh out how much vegetable you want to um, pickle. Okay. okay. So, so we're right doing here, it in grams. Yes, okay. If you guys would like to. Okay. So these down. are. Uh, these watermelon relishes. Watermelon relishes from okay. a local farm. Okay. I can't. I just do yeah. the whole you thing. You go do the whole thing. Okay. We'll just do the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It all fits into the jar it anyway. Does. Right. Okay. okay. So then, take the total weight of the vegetable you are doing, which is 69, 69 grams, and then cover it with water. Okay. okay. This little. Is it any kind of water? Just or regular tap, tap, regular tap, tap water. water. Okay. Okay. So 193, and then some simple math. Uh, just uh, two percent. You take a two percent of the salt of the total weight of the water and yeah, the vegetable. Right. I'm like, wait, <laughs> okay. I not I need a calculator. Somebody. We're working in grams right here, so I'm just going to round up to 200 grams. Okay. So okay. 10 percent, uh, one percent is two grams, so four grams of salt. Okay. And then simple here. If you'd like to just add up, we can tear this out to zero. Okay. Oh, see, there you oh, go. Thank there you. Go. Go. I didn't want you to make me add. So we're going to go to four. Okay. There you go. Almost. Yay! Yay. Right on the nose. Almost okay. And then you just let, give this a quick stir. Mm -hmm. oh. And that's put some, it. Put some plastic wrap over oh. it to make sure the uh, vegetables are all submerged. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, to keep them under the water. Press it, press I got gotcha. it down yeah. onto the okay. vegetables to yeah. get okay. the air out. Yep. Okay. And then close the mason jar. And then come check it in five days. Oh, Leave it at room temperature. Simple. That was simple. What? So what happens to the flavor profile of whatever you're fermenting? Uh, you get you get more of a. Um, it depends on the vegetable. Right. But sometimes you'll get with this you'll get a little bit more of a tang, a sourness to it, or some it'll with radishes especially um, you'll get that. But if you have something more like carrots or peppers, it'll bring out some more sweetness. You'll still get a little bit of that zing, a little tartness, the fermenty, uh, bubbly flavor, which also brings out good natural vitamins in the, oh, in, the, yeah, in yeah. the vegetables that you're. Um, Fermenting. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, so while she's doing that, you also incorporate this into your actual menu yes. itself. So the things that you ferment. Yes. Go. Give me some dishes that you uh, use. So our pork chop. Uh, we have. A, it comes with sweet potatoes, but we use two types of preservations on that. We have preserved lemons. Those are fermented Real lemons. Real quickly. Yes. You, should she use the seeds? Sure. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. If okay. you like extra spice, I do. Okay. Um, preserved lemons that we do in house, which is another thing. Um, then salt cured chilies, which is another fermentation. It's a quick version of kind of what you're doing here. Mm -hmm. um, so. We use that in um, in our pork chop. We have a lot of our sandwiches have pickled jicama, pickled these pickled chilies we have here. Pickled onions go on a lot of our dishes as well. The smoked bone Almost marrow. Almost 200 too, so um, another four. These oh, are another four. Thank you. I'm like, no, no, no. The oh, four, four. Got yep. it. Yep. The math, man. It's the math. <laughs> yeah. Again, if you're working in grams, you can be off by a couple grams. It's Got not it. Okay. That much of a difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then sorry. Too, go ahead. With, with this, you can also infuse different aromatics. You know, garlic. You know, <gasps> herbs. Ooh, whatever. Yeah. whatever. You know, it's your. The world is your oyster. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Put this on there. Yeah. Remember? Oh, that is cool. So, yeah. And then you, you're using it in your drinks, too? In cocktails, yes. Um, we These are actually ferment, lacto-fermented, same kind of process, uh, but gooseberries. Ooh, so we take so these cool. and use these in our gooseberry smash. Mm. Um, very delicious. Uh, and then, of course, Bloody Marys. you got to have your pickle garnishes. And you guys have a whole pickle wall, We right? do. In our walk-in, we have a whole 
wall, a bunch of shelves dedicated to just pickling projects. And that goes to... Projects, I like yeah. that, yeah. projects. And that goes from pickling, lacto-fermented kimchi, um, mi misos, you know, trying that out. Okay. And that's, that's just a fun kind of right. experimentation. And this is all about being sustainable. That's a very big part of it, um, taking, you know, what leftover vests you're not using for the week that might go bad the next week. Sure. Take that, pickle it, ferment it, make a kimchi out of it, you know, try something, you know, and then that'll just like, you know, sustain oh, it for another couple months. That is so smart. I know. And you hear a lot of restaurants that are doing a little bit more of like the kimchi type stuff. Yes. You guys are really doing a whole variety of things. It's really got to be changing the flavor profiles for a lot of your things. Yeah, definitely. And it, it try, you know, different, different styles of, you know, say kimchi too, you know, what does this taste like if we change this aspect of it? Or, mm -hmm. you know, what if we use a different vegetable rather than cabbage? We took against the leaves from the ramp, pickled ramps. We took the leaves and made a kimchi out of that, too. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very, it's very just, and then it's a very good, uh, fun way to experiment. No people can do this at home. Bar. No, no, no more dive bar. No more, yeah. And people can do this at home. Yeah, absolutely. It's I so mean, that's easy. amazing. Four ingredients. Yes. Four ingredients. Simple. Yeah, I love that. All right, good job. All right. Thanks, Chef Matt. We appreciate absolutely. it. Thank uh, you. All the information from Pippin's Tavern, if you haven't been there, in the Viagra Triangle on East Chicago. Pippin's Tavern is the social media handles and the website as well. Thanks right. much. Thank you.